Okay, well, good morning to everybody. We're going to get started with our warm up today. Um, I want to make a few announcements and then we'll check your sentences that you wrote here. Um, first of all, I want to let you guys know I was really impressed by your Go React videos that you did uh, for chapter eight, and then also the comments that several of you went back and made comments uh, for other students in there, especially Fei Young. Um, I want to say thank you for doing that and keep doing that. Um, I think it's great for you guys to hear from each other. So after you record a video, go and watch your classmates' videos and give positive comments about it, okay? It's a good place to kind of know each other better, too. So thank you for that. And also thank you for doing your labs on time. Um, I got grades for everybody, so I appreciate that. And I want to let you know that uh, I have graded your writing assignment that you sent to me in Blackboard. And I want to make sure you know how to go back to that assignment and get the comments and the feedback I send to you. Okay, so whenever I'm checking writing assignments, I post comments in there as well as the grade and you can go back to Blackboard, click on the grades. It'll say my grades on the left side. And then next to the assignment, you should see a little circle or it has like a little comments button. And if you click on that, then you can see all the notes that I gave you, all the corrections that I wrote for you. Okay. So does anybody have questions on how to check for feedback in your grades? section in Blackboard. Anybody have questions on how to do that? Okay, so everybody's good with that, I hope. Um, because one of the most important things about taking a class is that you practice and you also get feedback from your instructor, okay? So if you just practice, practice, and then you get a grade and you never go back and check, you know, what did I miss? Where do I need to improve? If you never do that, then it's not really helping you and your learning. So I will, I will give you feedback and comments, and then I want you to go back and check those. That's for writing assignments as well as for uh, the Go React videos, okay? So let's get started with our review of chapter eight that we did. We're going to check the homework in a few minutes, but I wanted to point out a couple of things on the difference between because and although. So I asked you to write a sentence here. So let's look at what we've got. Because there was traffic, I went to school late. Yeah. Now, when you say I went to school, that means like you left your house late. Um, so two, maybe we could say because there was traffic, I got to school late. Got to school is the same as arrived at school. OK. Oh, yeah, there we go. Good. So, um, so good. So this is the reason. So why did you get to school late? Because there was traffic. Yes. And then Walter, because there was traffic, she couldn't she couldn't get to work on time. That's good. And why did you say? Oh, you said sorry because you didn't give us your name. Yes, but because I wrote over the. <laughs> oh, he tried to take out two stone in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it, got it, okay. Um, so she couldn't get to work on time. That's a good sentence. And then because there was traffic, I took so long on the road. Yes, and Omani, don't forget to capitalize I. We always capitalize I when I is the person. Yes, good. Okay, and so good, those are reasons, reasons. Let's look at number two, although there was traffic, I stayed at class on time. Um, stay is to like remain, 
to so I'm, I think too we need to change that maybe um, I got to class on time what do you think too yeah okay you agree with me okay <laughs> I got to class I got to class we get to a place yeah and then although there was traffic she got to work on time okay so you guys show you're showing me the those of you who put the sentences there you're showing me that you understand the difference between a sentence with because and a sentence with although with although we're looking at contrast or something unexpected so there was traffic you think i'm going to be late you would think that it would slow me down but actually right surprise I got to class on time and she got to work on time so those are correct uses of uh, although in the sentence yeah and Angelica that's correct I wasn't late and Amani <laughs> Amani you put I twice but I didn't get late um Mm, well, I, I would say I didn't arrive late to my appointment. I didn't get late. No, I wouldn't say I didn't get late. I didn't ar arrive late to my appointment. Yeah. Good job, guys. You guys are like professionals with using this Blackboard stuff. Now, I think I've trained you well. <laughs> Okay. Um, good job. Anybody have questions about these? Nope. Good to go. Good to go. Okay. So why don't we check our homework and then we're going to start chapter nine today. So let me stop sharing this and let's go to Uh, the homework. You guys can open your books to page 221. Okay, at this point, at this point, I hope everybody has your book or at least access to the e text. Okay, if you still do not have your book or you cannot access your homework and you want to do that, then you need to let me know today. Is anybody book? Oh, okay. Book. I I send email to Pearson, and I'm waiting answer from them if they can just add e text or maybe if okay. I can return the one I purchased and purchase again with e text. And and please, Angelica, let me know what they say about that because. Uh, I don't know. There might be other students in the future. Same issue. It would be good for me to know um, to help them because I really don't know how to do that. <laughs> so let me know what they say, okay? Okay. And and I was watching your video too when I was purchasing it. I don't know how I missed that part, and I bought the one without the text. <laughs> so. Oh, it is so confusing online. I mean, there there's two options right next to each other, and the one that has the picture of the book that's the one you pick. But um, yeah, it, it was confusing. I agree. A lot of people get confused. With it. But um, it's not required, so that's the good thing. You just just get it when you can. Okay. So, uh, look, class, we're looking at exercise 24. Exercise 24, page 221. So, number two, the children were hungry because there was no food in the house, or because there was no food in the house, the children were hungry. Okay, any questions on number two? See if it'll let me write here. Um, big thing you need to look out for is the comma. 
we use a comma if we start the sentence with this word that's called a subordinator, okay? Because although, even though you start the sentence with that, then you need to use a comma after the, the first uh, clause, the dependent clause. Okay, number three, we can't get across the river because the bridge or because the bridge is closed, we can't get across the river. Yes. Got it. Good, too. Number four, my car didn't start because the battery was dead or because the battery was dead, my car didn't start. Yes. Number five, because of the job was very funny. Okay, now let's see if I can go to the next page here. Oh, good. So number five, oh yeah, uh, and Patty laughed hard because the joke was very funny, or because the joke was very funny, Talia, Ta, Ta, Ty, Tyla, Patty oh, laughed yeah. hard. Yes. Okay, good. So everybody got those right, and then we can go to 25. Yes. So for these, we want to check to make sure that our capital, we've got periods in capital letters. So period after cold, capital B and because. Yes. Number three, period after tired, capital G. Yes. And number four, period after hands for he. Yes. Okay. Yes. I missed the second one. So period period after cold. Yes. And capital after B. tired. Number two. Oh, 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 sorry. Second one. Number two. Yeah, period after cold. Okay, what did you do? What did you do? I, in yeah, I, have a I made a mistake. I put period after well. Oh, the well, the, the comma. Oh, me too. Okay. So you said Mr. El Said had a bad cold because he was not feeling well. Yes, period. And Capitalized letter H. I did that. He stayed home from the office. A bad cold because he was not feeling well. <laughs> okay, if you say that, then then it's like saying this. Why did he have a bad cold? The answer would be because he was not feeling well. That's wrong. It kind of doesn't really make sense. Um, why did he have a bad cold? Oh, because he went outside in the rain or because he didn't sleep for two days. That's why he has a bad cold. But we can't say he has a bad cold because he's not feeling well. Uh, it's kind of so like the main club stay yeah. home from the office. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now we can ask a question, why did he stay home from the office? because he was not feeling well. Okay. Okay. Thank Good question. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you and both you told me that you missed it because it's good to talk about it. Okay, how about exercise 30, page 223? Page 223. That was your next uh, homework, right? Seven. Yes. Seven. Okay. Complete the sentences with giving Okay, work. so I want to ask you guys what you got for this. So what did you put for letter A, number one A? The exercise 30. Yes, exercise 30. Yes, because then he says he is not, he isn't going to work. That's correct. This isn't. What about B, sir? Yes. 
Walter, what did you put for uh, oh, letter? Sorry. <laughs> and B, although Dan is sick, he's going to work. Good. He is going to work. That's and Amani, what did you put for letter C? Amani is sick. He is going to work. Yes, that's correct. Good. Did you, did you skip and, number, number 28? Yeah. No, no. 30, exercise 30. I think it was on the yeah, we're doing exercise 30. We skipped 27. <laughs> yeah, we skipped a couple of these because they take too long. I'm going to check home for, for an hour. <laughs> But you do have the answers here. I'm recording this, so if you want to go back and check your answers, you can. But we're on exercise 30 on page 223. And and Jill, oh, I'm sorry, you don't have your book. No. I forgot. <laughs> okay, so number 2A didn't go. 2B didn't go. Yes. Yes. And Yes. Yes. Okay, we're doing good, guys. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's go to exercise 32. Did uh, 32, 33, and 36. Yes. So 32, number two is B. Number three, number four, A. Five is C. And six is B. This is exercise 32. Okay. Can you repeat the answers? Yes. Can you yes, but it's really small. It is small? Yes. Oh my gosh! I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make it bigger. <laughs> Maybe you have a small, big on my screen. Okay. Yes, I'll repeat them. Exercise 32. Number two is B. Three C. Four A. Five C. And six B. Okay. I asked you be because I only wrote the sentence. I didn't yeah. put the, the letter. So then I'm going to check it. Oh, I see. Uh, for exercise 32. Oh, you just wrote the sentence up there in the blank. Yes. Small blank. Okay. Okay. So B, C, A. B. C D B B is okay. one by of the average newspaper. Mm -hmm. Number six is B as in boy. Yes, B. Okay, anybody have a question? No. Okay. Let's go to exercise thirty three. Exercise 33, the listening, okay? Yes. Um, so number one is perfect. Number two, B. Number three, A. Number four, B. And number five, C. Okay, did anybody miss something in this part? 33. 33. I never even though. Anybody miss something on listening? Everybody got. This is a good indicator on um, if you need to do more listening practice in your life, like watching the TV in English or listening to the radio in English. Uh, if you miss like half of these, then I would suggest listening 
or watching something for an, 30 minutes every day to, to practice that listening. Okay, we have one more we need to check, and that's exercise 36. Exercise 36. Guys, what you did for this one. Um, okay. Let's see, two, what did you put for number number two, where it says gold and silver? What did you put? Uh, I put the comma be behind gold, silver, and I delete day. Go, comma, silver, comma, and copper are metal. Are metals. Good. That is correct. So take off the period and we're adding commas because we're listing three things. We, are, we don't need the, the they. Yes. Gold, silver, and copper are metals, okay? Uh, Walter, what about number three? Okay, I wrote it, so I don't know if I changed something. It, it doesn't, I, do, I don't put anything. So the children crowd around the teacher because he was doing a magic trick. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think the big card you have, you might that the small one. Well, because... Oh, so you took, did you take out the Sure. Yes. Yes. Uh, so I did it. I can see what I changed. Okay. You can see I what didn't, you changed. I take off the period and the I take off the B. Yes. I because didn't capitalize the letter. Okay. So we call it lowercase. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Lower that's correct. So we did a lowercase b, and we yes. we took off the period. Yes. yes. That was and number. Yeah, this is number three, exercise thirty six. Okay. And good morning, Maha. I noticed you just joined us. So welcome. We're checking our homework. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Good. We're on page 227. We're checking our homework. Okay. So let's go to number four. Okay. Okay. Sure. No problem. Number four. Um, Amani, do you have number four? Yes. Uh, I think this one is this one is good. <laughs> no. Uh, nope. <laughs> no. No. Let me show you what we need to do. Okay. This is tricky. Yeah. And I noticed in some of your your videos and react. Um, notice that we have to when we're doing um the so to either and neither, we have to have the and or the but, okay? So in this case, we're adding affirmative information. So we need to use and. And so did. Did because over here, we have past tense. Yes. Okay, so I and so did my friend. Okay, good. Let me know if you still have questions. Yeah. I got it. Okay, good. Um, here's the rest of the answers. I'm going to say them in case you can't read them, okay? So number uh, number five, my roommate didn't go no. and neither did neither I. Did I. And they really need to put a comma right here. And neither did I. Or you can say my roommate didn't go and I didn't either. either. Okay, good. Number six. Even though I was exhausted, I didn't stop working until after midnight. 
So we're adding though, even though. Okay. Number seven, although I like chocolate, comma, I can't eat it because I'm allergic to it. And number eight, I like to eat raw eggs for breakfast, comma, everybody else in my family does too. Or you can say, does everybody in my family. And then number nine, a hardware store sells tools, comma, nails, comma, plumbing supplies, comma, and paint. And number 10, most insects have wings, period. Do not. Or you can say most insects have wings, comma, but spiders do not. Okay, good uh, punctuation, capitalization, and all that. Okay, if anybody has a question, now's the time to turn on your microphone and ask. Any questions here? Go ahead. So if there's no questions, then um, we're going to flip over to chapter nine and begin our lesson on that. So I'm sharing this and we're going to switch over to my wonderful PowerPoint presentations. All right, so everybody let me know if you have a problem seeing my PowerPoint here, the Grammar 2, Chapter 9. If you cannot see it, then let me know. And go ahead and turn off your microphone unless you want to say something. Okay, so everybody can hear. So we're looking at grammar uh, comparisons. and. This is not really my favorite chapter. I think in this chapter they have just a lot of little tiny details about things, but it, I think it's a good chapter for you guys to review. A lot of this you're already going to know, but um, some of you will kind of keep making the same mistakes in the same areas. And so this chapter might help you to just correct those small mistakes that you make. Okay, so we're we're dividing this into four sections. And today we're looking at sections 9, 1, 9, 2, 9, 3, and then we'll stop. Okay, so we're going from page 229 to page 238. And then on Thursday, we'll continue with the next few sections, okay? So let's start first with talking about what is a comparative. What do you already know about comparatives? Does anybody know what, what comparative means? That's a compare to our Martin. Yes, good. Good. Difference between two things. Looking at differences or similarities between two things and two things. We can also compare uh, more than two. We're going to talk about comparatives and superlatives. 
and you're looking at more than two things or you're comparing one thing with a whole um, category or group of things. So let's start with just some simple sentences here. Can anybody compare these two photographs? On the left side, this is a photograph of Fort Worth, Texas. And I don't know exactly the year and I don't know the street on, but um, I want to guess this is probably like 19, like early 1900s because they have the there. So I know this is uh, right when it became 1900. So maybe the 1915 or 1905, somewhere around there. And on the right side, Fort Worth Stockyards, you see a picture uh, of a more modern day Fort Worth, right? Maybe just uh, a couple years ago. So can anybody compare the things inside the photograph or you can just make a sentence maybe about Fort Worth, past and present? Anybody want to try? Photographs or things inside the photographs. Okay. Um, which, which part is? Okay, Walter, you go first, and then Amani. The, okay. Okay, I'm gonna compare the photograph. The fix. The first picture is older than the second picture. Okay, good. So the on the left side is older older that's the comparative word older than the photograph on the right side yes good okay Amani I was trying to I was trying to say the uh, in, uh, second part is newer than the first <laughs> <Right>. part <laughs> good Good. The second photograph is newer than the first photograph. Yeah. So good. You guys basically said the same thing, but you said it in a different way. Okay. Um, let's compare. Do you see uh, the people? Left, the picture on the left. I see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I see about seven or eight people. But on the right side, I only see two people. Can we make a sentence about that? Can we compare the number of people? What about fewer? Can we, yeah. Okay, the new uh, photograph less than the old paragraph. Um, the new, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right, Maha. Okay, you are, but they're kind of mixed around. So let's say the newer photograph has m fewer people than the old photograph. The newer photograph has fewer people than the old photograph. Yeah, so good. In this case, fewer people. So we didn't say the photo is older or the photo is newer. We, we said it has fewer people, right? Okay, what if about if I say the old photograph, what? Let's talk about the people. The old photograph has more. 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 Good. More. So in this case, nouns, and we have a section in our book that gives us more explanation about the nouns. The, the old photograph has more people in it than 
the new photograph has more people in it. Right, good. Okay, anything else? Can we say anything else? The I got it, and then you go on, then before. Okay, Maha, I heard you. Go ahead, say it again. The car, and then you one before then. Before. Modern, modern version. So you want to talk about the cars? So the cars in a new one in the new picture are are newer than the cars in the old picture that's good okay what about um the number there it looks like one two three four five six maybe there's more cars in the picture on the right there are more cars in the new picture than the uh, old picture I mean, there's so many things we could say. We can go on and on, but <laughs> I want to um, But one funny thing I want to show you about this picture that I noticed, look at the picture on the left side. Do you see the sign on the street that says trunks? Yes. <laughs> Do you guys know what a trunk is? No. Yes. Well, I'm not talking about trunks on the car. You know, uh, you got the hood of your car with your engine in it, and then the uh, trunk is that's the I think with water. water. With water? Yeah. No, a no. trunk is a, like a suitcase. Underpants. But it's, it's bigger, and people used to get their stuff in trunks and then take it like to the train station or whatever. I just think it's funny that there's a, a huge sign that just says trunks like people buy a trunk i think like you only need to buy a trunk maybe once a year or something and they have this huge sign <laughs> i don't know i thought it was funny you don't, you don't really buy trunks anymore right what you guys some of you don't even know what it is except the car. so that's definitely you can see how um, our society has changed. Our economy has changed um, just by looking at these two. Okay. That was my little trunk. Trunks. I can imagine a few shelves with full trunks. <laughs> right. I know. Exactly. I mean, my, my grandmother had a trunk. And uh, my mom used it as a coffee table in our living room. But it's it's just a, a place for storing things, really. It's all we use it for now. Okay, so here's a couple of examples I put um, above the pictures. Life was slower back then. Okay, think about the pace of life. You know, did they have internet? No. No. They just, uh, a lot of people walked to the store or maybe took the bus. Life was slower back then. And then on the right side, people have more access to technology now than they did back then. So this is a different sentence structure you can see. I'm using more with a noun, access. On the left side, I just use slower as the comparative adjective. So there's, um, you guys kind of get the idea about comparatives, but sometimes it can be confusing where to put the words in a sentence. Okay. So let's practice a little bit more with these. Um, so turn off your microphone unless I call on your name because there's uh, some noise I'm hearing. Uh, let's see. Angelica, 
Erica, if you're still there, can you use as, as to compare? You can choose in, in comparison. I want to see if you know how to use as. Like I give an example here. My hometown is as big as Dallas. Mm. Let me think. <laughs> as big as. Or maybe um, as expensive as or as tall as, as small as. My, um, I guess my, my hometown where I'm, I'm from is as, um, can I say it, it's, um, my hometown isn't as big as as Dallas, but it's kind of similar with the one you have. Yeah, that's okay. I have to make, have to make something different. I just can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad okay. with um, imagin like uh, with imaginations. Or you got to think of a if we're using as like this as big as. We have to think of a city that's the same size as your hometown. So is it really big like New York? Is it kind of small like Euless, Arlington? Is it really small like Weatherford? It's like small, small, small probably okay. like, like Weatherford. So uh, my hometown is small as uh, Arlington. Arlington, yeah, or Weatherford. Mm -hmm. So my hometown is as small as. So the first thing I want you to notice with this is we're using as two times. Oh. That's a key. Okay. And like I said, guys, um, there are notes about all of these structures in your book in the first six pages of the chapter. So you're gonna go back for homework and practice these, but I'm just going over some of the, the main ideas here. So when we're using as, we're showing that two things are the same. My hometown and Dallas are the same size, okay? So we're using as two times, as big as. And then Angelica, you come from a smaller, small town so you can say my hometown is as small as Arlington right oh right my hometown is as small as Arlington yeah. good so we use two times yeah two times yes good okay um if anybody else has a question go ahead and ask okay so let's yeah, go ahead. I said no question. Oh, no question. <laughs> okay. No. Let's practice with not as. If I use not as, that means the thing on the left side is less and the the noun or the thing on the right side is more. So look at Euless is not as big as Fort Worth. That means Fort Worth is more. Fort Worth is bigger. Okay. Um, another example. Two. Two is not as tall as Walter. <laughs> now, I this is this is hard because we're in virtual learning. But I always talk about students because it's a good way for us to get an idea together. But I can tell just the way two is sitting in the chair that two is not as tall as Walter. That means Walter is taller. Taller. I'm only Am I right? Five inches. 
You're five feet? Five inches. Five inches? Yes. Five inches is, is shorter than the dollar bill. I remember one hundred sixty six centimeters centimeter something. No, I think you're five feet to you are five I'm, feet I'm, tall. Five feet for five inches. Oh, five feet five inches? Yes. Oh, you're taller than me. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I'm only five feet three inches. Oh, I'm tall. So I'm not as tall as you. I am taller than you. Yes, good, excellent. You are shorter than me. Yes, <laughs> I'm shorter than a lot of people, so I'm used to that. Okay, good. Let's talk about you. Let's use than. In one but i i am not beautiful a free age you but i'm i'm not a beautiful age you oh no 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 you are as beautiful as me we are good, good. we can practice everything <laughs> <laughs> two you're getting a lot of practice that's good okay let's let's look at with Dan. So um, in your book, if you want to look over at page 233, okay, we've got than. Now there's two ways to use the than. We're going to use it with an ER adjective with more and an adjective. Or you can also use it with a noun. So my native country has more history and the United States. Is it okay, class? Is it okay to say two is more taller than me? Two is more taller than me. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, I think so. Nope, nope, no. no. <laughs> Taller can do yeah. the front of taller more than you cannot use more and an ER like more taller, more shorter, more you cannot use more with another ER adjective. Okay. Look at the example three letter c letter c it says ed is more generous than his brother ed is more generous than his brother so you can see after more we don't have er generous sir Gen generous sir we cannot use er but in letter b it says um, a and b are older than c and d so we do not use more if we already have the ER. Okay. So that's a special note. You guys will practice that one on page 233 later. Okay. And let's practice with these that are called superlatives. The ST or the ES. This is where we have superlatives. Does anybody want to try one with um, an ST? So this would be like the biggest, the tallest, the most populated. Like my example, my hometown is the most populated city in the region. Anybody want to try this one? The oldest, the youngest. Uh, Walter is uh tallest in class good just don't forget you need to say the, the tallest. tallest okay well we we haven't checked to make sure but uh, we can guess walter how tall are you walter walter go to sleep ah uh, uh sorry <laughs> I'm. I think I am 
five point nine. Five oh, feet nine inches. Yes. Is anybody taller than Walter? Is anybody taller than him in our class? Nope. No, yeah, Amani, I know you're not. Amani, you're like five, six, five, four? Maybe? Five, six. Yeah, five, six. Okay. So it looks like Walter is the tallest person in our class. The tallest person. Okay, good. So that's called a superlative because it's comparing him to everybody else in the group, everybody else in the class. All right. And then what about the IR? Have you ever practiced with these? These are the ones that where the adjective has a, an ly, like friendly. People are friendlier in Texas than in California. They're friendlier. We do not say more friendlier, right? Because we have er. So this one has ier because we have to take off the y on friendly. Okay, and then let's look at a couple of irregulars. Let, I want you to page 235. Page 235. You guys are going to look at this more for homework. Page 225. Do you see, uh, it talks about, it tells you the spelling of the adjectives and comparative and superlative, but look down where it says irregular, irregular, good, bad, better. Okay, so how do we use these? Can anybody make a sentence using one of these irregulars? Either worst, worse, better, best, farther, farthest, further, furthest. Anybody want to try? Okay, I try. Okay. Okay, Michael Jordan was the best player of basketball in the history. Yes, good. And that's so funny that you said Michael sentence on my next slide where I talk about Michael Jordan. That is so weird. But yes, Michael Jordan was the best basketball player in history. Yeah, the best. Good. Okay. Look at the bottom of page 235. Right side, the bottom right. Do you see farther and further? Farther and further. What's the difference between farther and further? Farther and further. They sound kind of the same, right? Yes. Like um, Dallas is farther from my house than Euless. I live in Fort Worth. Dallas is farther from my house than Euless. You can use farther and further to talk about distance. Dallas is further from my house. Dallas is farther from my house. They're both the same when you're about distance but they're different when you're talking about this word additional it says further also can mean another or like also so the one with a u can also mean the word also so there is a practice you guys are going to do about that let's look at one together real quick page 237 Page 237. Let's do a couple of these with further and further. 237, exercise 13. Is everybody there? Number one, Ron and his friend jogging. Ron ran two miles, but his friend got tired after one mile. So Ron ran farther than his friend did. You can also say Ron ran further than his friend did. Both of those are correct. 
because we're talking about distance. So number one, I want you to use the word distance. Distance. It's like how far you go. You can use farther or further, both. Okay. Number two. Number two, let's see. Uh, Angelica, what would you put in the blank? Um, I don't have the book. That's right. You don't have the book. Um, <laughs> can I do that? What did it say? Maybe I can. It says, if you have any blank questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you have any farther questions or if you have any questions, which one should we use? Farther or further? I think further. Further. Further, further. yes, you. That's correct. If you have any further questions, that'd be letter B. Why are we doing that? Because we're talking about additional, any more questions. So mean like more more of something so number one we can circle both of the answers they're both correct number two we can only circle letter B because the meaning is different okay any questions about that? so further it has few meanings so it can be used as distance uh, as a farther instead of right. farther right. and then it can be more of something then it can be yes. Yes. also you said it can mean also yeah i said oh, yeah. Also, more it can mean more um, or additionally okay. so if i say um do you have any further questions? It means, do you have any more questions? Okay, yes. I don't know why I said also. Why did I say also? Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why I said also. <laughs> because I was thinking of additional, like addition is like also, but more. Okay. More. Yeah. And, um, Angelica, let's look at at this one right here what's the difference between hardly okay people get confused with hardly this is an adverb is it okay if I say oh yesterday I worked very hardly is that okay no 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 but I thought hardly was like an adverb it tells you how you do something like I worked quickly I worked quietly I worked hardly, right? Yes. But you said no, I can't do it hardly. I think you can say I hardly. I think hardly is the adverb. I hardly may I hardly may uh, I hardly make that decision or I hardly make it work. Made it work. You did different sentences. Yeah, it, it depends on the <laughs> sentence. Okay, hardly is an adverb, but it does not mean the same meaning as hard. Yeah, yes. Okay, so Fei Young, I saw you, you joined us. So, yes, hardly means the same thing as almost nothing. Mm. Almost nothing. Like if I say, um, I hardly have any rice left. I hardly have any rice left. That means I, I almost have nothing left. So the meaning is very hard. So what do we use if I were to say yesterday I worked very, I can't say hardly. Anybody know what I can say? Just hard yesterday. Just hard. Yes. I worked very hard. So the word hard is an adjective to describe people and places, but it's also an adverb 
to describe how you do something. So look at page 235. Page 235, and you can see at the bottom of the, the box, it says irregular adverbs. Okay, adverbs tell you how you do something. One syllable adverbs. You see fast, hard, faster, harder. Those are adverbs. It tells you how you do something. I worked fast. I worked hard. Okay, and then at the top part where it's adjectives like good and bad, important, those describe people, places, and things. She is good. The class was okay, and adjectives were describing things, and adverbs were describing how you do something. Oh, yeah, do you want me to go back? Everybody got these? Yes. Okay, so here's a couple of quick notes, and then we're going to practice, okay? Because I want to look and see where you still need help, okay? Because you guys already know a lot of these, but then there's some areas that are more difficult. So things to remember from pages 229 to 238. When you're using as, make sure you use as two times. As wonderful as or as fast as a Ferrari can go as fast as a Lamborghini. But a Ferrari is not as fast as a Bugatti. Am I right? I'm just making this up. <laughs> okay, so when we use as, we have it two times. All right, and then when we use to compare things, it's more plus an adjective or adverb, or you can use the ER. So more wonderful than or taller than. So we use more if we have a long adjective or adverb. So it's a long one, like wonderful. This has three syllables. More beautiful than, intelligent than, okay? But when we have shorter adjectives, we use ER, taller, bigger, smaller. And then we're going to have V with an ST. This is a super, remember we said, Walter is the tallest student in our class. So we have the and we have the st tallest okay the most the tallest both of those have an st that's a superlative okay this is a review of the first few pages of the book so are we ready to practice is everybody ready or do you have questions no, we're ready. Ready to go. Okay. Take a picture of this. If you have your phone, do a screenshot. Take a picture of this because this is what we're doing for our group work today. Exercise 14. Exercise 14. And this is on food. Your, uh, when I put you in a group, in just a moment, you're going to use comparatives or to make sentences with a partner. The gray box, these, you can see the adjectives. You're going you're gonna to change it to a comparative or a superlative. So for beautiful, I can say more beautiful than, or I can use a superlative, the most beautiful. All right, and um, for extra challenge, some of you are, are really good at this. I want you to ask a question. Can you guys hear me, or is there noise in the background? 
I can okay. hear you. Okay, good. Good. Turn on unless you want to say something. Because I keep hearing sounds. Okay, so for extra challenge, try asking your partner questions. Like number two, you're going to compare a pool and a lake. So I can ask a question, which do you think is deeper, a pool or a lake? And I'm using deeper because I'm getting that word from our gray box. The gray box has the word deep. So you can ask a question of which do you think is, okay? When I'm using which, I'm talking things. Or number four, let's, which is more relaxing, taking a trip or staying home? So we're using which is or which do you think is. And then we have the comparative, okay? So you can practice um, speaking with asking these questions with your partner. And number seven is another example, but this one is a superlative. Which, or I'm um, sorry, what is the hardest material? The hardest. So we're talking about all materials, all natural materials. And I'm using a superlative because I want to know the extreme um, of all of them. So a diamond is the hardest material. Which material is harder? Gold or silver? Which is the hardest material? A diamond. I hope you guys know that. That's why diamonds are so precious because they're the hardest natural material that I know of. I could be wrong, but uh, so there's your challenge. Okay, everybody has a screenshot of this because I'm about to take this page away. And let's go back to our collaborate um, screen, if I can get back over there. Okay, good. All right, does everybody know what we're doing in our groups? Any questions? Turn on your microphone if you have a question. Okay, so we've got six people today. So I'm going to do... Let's see. Well, I'm trying to do three groups. Why won't it let me do three groups? Number of groups. Oh, because I'm included. No, we only have five students. <laughs> we got five students. So we'll do two groups. And let me see what group they put you guys in. Uh, okay, it's down here. Okay, so here we go. We've got Amani, Faye Young, and two. Amani, Faye Young, and two. The three of you are group one, okay? And then we're going to have Angelica and Walter. You guys. So I'm going to give you about five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes to do as many of these as you can. I will be happy if three of them, like one, two, and three, I'll be happy. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Everybody yes. ready? Okay, here you go. I'll see you in a minute.